Okay, uh, just first, I guess, to start off, um, you three, any of you, just how do you feel like summer practices have been going, you know, getting ready for this trip? I think they've been super competitive, which is something that is always fun. And I think when you go to a foreign trip, it's like more of what you bring out of it because you're not always going to it's not always about who you're playing it's more so for yourself so I just think that we have a really we're really blessed to be able to play against the competition we're playing against and sometimes you know you go into practice and it's like you have five out and it's it's noticeable and I think for us it's like you play any any group of five is going to win at any point in time like it's not like you're going to go out and see a team and be like oh they're going to win and I think that we have a very special team that just summer has brought out a competitive side that we haven't seen in a while and just everyone wants to be there because everyone wants to compete and everyone wants to win and so it's just been a really healthy environment and then kind of on that note of the competition um in AU3 it seems like from watching practices there's pretty just a lot of depth that maybe you didn't have in the past and how do you feel like that's come into play as far as practice just having that extra it feels like every position there's a lot of good competition we have a lot of really good players on our team, and I think we're finally starting to understand how we fit into the puzzle that is Coach Nave's system. Uh, I think the past couple of years that I've been here, it's been really hard because a lot of people's positions have changed based on what the team needed for that season. And I think this year we have enough depth for people to kind of be solidified in what position and what role they're going to play on this team. So I think that just this summer, it's been really, really helpful to kind of get it get to see how much depth that we have and how competitive, like Sailor said, it's become and just kind of grow with that and let that be the culture of this team. And Sasha, how are you feeling and how's it been to get back? Yeah, I'm feeling, I've been doing a lot better. Um, it feels awesome being back with the team. Obviously, I missed them a lot last year. I still was around, but it feels really great to be back out there and back a part of this team. Um, Sasha, kind of going off of that, can you talk about what your process has been like getting back? What what has the day to day been like for you? How difficult has it been? How easy has it been to get back in with everybody? And how do you like this team this year? Yeah. Um, so I would say it definitely was a bit of a challenge, you know, to get back in the groove of things. Obviously, taking a whole year off, um, but I definitely have tools that I use now to kind of help ground me and that kind of ensure that I'm still feeling good every day. So I have more of a routine that I do. Um, and sorry, oh, with the team, how has it been going, be, being with the team? It's It's been amazing being back with the team. Was that your question? I'm sorry. Yeah, I to go off of that a little bit, bit, like how has it been kind of integrating back into it with them? I'm sure they've welcomed you with open arms. I know oh, yeah. we talked to Michaela and Samara and they were just, over, overjoyed to have you back. I mean, has that yeah. kind of been the attitude amongst the whole team? Yes. Ever since I left, like, even just coming back to practice on that first day, like, I'll never forget the whole team berated me with hugs and just laughter um, and support. So that's something that I'll never forget. And it's it's been the same every day. Everyone has welcomed me back with open arms and is just incredibly supportive in every way. So I couldn't be more thankful for all of them. And this is for Jersey and Sailor. What's it like having Sasha back on the court, you know, for Sailor? You know, what's it like playing with a competitor like her? Kind of talk, give your thoughts on that. Well, me and Sasha joke about it. We guard each other every single day. And I think that we met, like, it's like kind of a joke, but also I will put it against anyone in the country that no one goes against someone the, uh, like a, like I feel like our competition every day in practice isn't found in any gym and I think that for us that's like very special even though some days we hate it it's like we're like oh, we're never on the same team like it's always like we're gonna go out and it's like all right we got Sasha I got Sailor so I think it's just it's a blessing in disguise and I think that we take it to our advantage just being able to go against length that you're not gonna face every night so it's like oh if I can score or if I can guard her okay I can probably guard 99% of the people that I'm gonna go against and I think that it's been really cool to like have her come back and see it come back because I think there's not a lot of people that can take a year off and come back and not skip a beat and I think that just having her back is really special just her personality and just her as a person outside of all the basketball talent has been really good and just great for our team 
<laughs> Sasha, when Sailor hurt her ankle a little bit two days ago, did you uh, did your heart go in your throat for a second? It did. It literally skipped a beat because, like she said, we guard each other every day. So whenever something happens, I'm automatically like, "Crap, that was my fault." But I understand. Like it wasn't my fault, and like we're just competitors, so we're gonna both go hard at each other every day. But obviously, yeah, uh, it was a little bit scary. But I'm glad she's good. And also, what Sailor said about like. Um, being competitive with one another and like I totally agree like she makes me better every single day and I'm really glad like like she said it's it's hard every day it's hard and you're you have a challenge in front of your face but that's what's going to make us better so I agree and I, I am thankful for that in Jersey are you are you playing more inside I see you blocking shots and stuff are you doing more of that this year uh, I've really taken to heart uh, my defense and rebounding ability this year, and that's something I've been trying to focus on, especially during the summer. Uh, just adding that to my game, I think, makes me a whole different player, more complete player. Um, but as for playing inside or outside, I don't know where I'll end up playing, but I'm just thankful for whatever opportunities thrown my way. Jersey, uh, Coach Neighbors said the other day that he just thinks you look different. Um, we just talked kind of about your off season and how you've gotten to where it just seems like you're playing pretty smoothly right now. Yeah, I've just been really focusing on myself and my ability to produce on the court. Um, kind of my routine before we started team practices back up uh, during the off season, I was doing like four to five workouts just personally. And then come season, like not season season, but leading into Greece and team practices, I've been trying to limit those down to like three separate workouts from team stuff because I don't want to just completely exhaust my body, but I also know that this is a transitional period for me, and I want my junior season to kind of be that uh, mark of success for myself, so just really making sure that this summer is what is leading into this year. And any of you just, um, what do you think about the newcomers y'all have, and how have you kind of gotten them into the fold some? I think freshman summer is always interesting because everyone has their idea of what what it's going to be like and then it's always the complete opposite and so it's funny I think all of us could say it's they come in the locker room and they're like oh my god we have lift today or like oh my god we have this but it's like you know it's not coming from like they don't want to do it it's just like dang I'm now a college athlete and I have to go to class at nine and I have to be at practice at 10 and then I have to lift after and so I think that just like just watching them learn the process has been kind of cool but also re like just letting them know that it's they're doing good and kind of not putting as much pressure on them. I think that when freshmen come in, they put so much pressure on themselves to like make that first impression and like be what they were and why they came to Arkansas. And so I think just like our job as players is kind of to just be their support and be like, it's okay to make a mistake and it's okay to like learn and learn. Every day is not going to be your best day. So for me, it's been kind of cool because it's just like watching them and just listening to them has been like kind of funny to me. And then just seeing how well they do, they've all adapted great and they're all like good people, good teammates, and so they've, I feel like they've came in really easy and added everything that we would expect. I think it's really funny to see their personalities progress. Like when every, every freshman gets on campus, you're all just a little quiet, a little shy, you're trying to kind of test the waters. And so the longer you're around each other, like we're around each other every day. And so you guys, we kind of get to see each other's personalities progress within the team. And like Talia, when she first came in, I was like, okay, she's gonna be really quiet. Definitely not one of the quietest on the team. Um, but like with Marin and Jenna, they're still pretty quiet. And then Keats is definitely quiet, but she's like a nonchalant type of funny. So just seeing everybody's personalities kind of just develop the longer that we're around each other and kind of create those bonds and those memories. I would just say to that, um, it's also cool because they're all so talented. So it's been, obviously you're gonna make freshman mistakes, everyone does, but it's been really cool to see them kind of integrate on the team and you can't, I mean, you can t you could probably tell they're freshmen, but not because of their talent or their skills, you know, they're all very talented and they've all, done such a good job at just like owning like who we are and what coach neighbors whatever play style is like they've all done a really good job at um becoming a part of that so in talking about coach neighbors style he said y'all are actually going to add a press this year uh, what have y'all thought about kind of working through that um and he also said that there's a good chance that can have 
10 or 11 players getting time just how important do you think it is um you know implementing this press and then accepting roles on the team um, I think this press is something that's completely new to his system, so we're all going through the growing pains of understanding who's supposed to be in what gap in the press and who's supposed to be going to trap and all these things. Um, but as far as the roles, I think they're more noticeable this year. Like, whereas the last couple of years, it's been kind of, oh, we need somebody to kind of fill this position rather than this is your role, this is what you bring to the team, and we're going to utilize that, and we're going to play to those types of strengths rather than try to conform your weaknesses into something that we need. So I think, um, yeah, having more depth and adding more people to our system is really going to help us in the long run. Yeah, I think we play really fast as it is, so adding a press only adds more speed, and I think that, I mean, just up here is six, one, and above, so it's like we have so much length and we have so much athleticism that it's like we should just use it to our ability. I mean, when you play in the SEC, you're playing against the top competition every night, so you you really have to find what's going to separate you, and sometimes it's not much, and I think that for us, the speed and the athleticism that our whole team brings and the depth is what we have to bring and like we have to use to our advantage, so I think adding a press, yeah, like she said, we're going to go through the growing pains, we're going to we're going to sometimes get back and we're going to be like, oh gosh, we got to go up. But I think that just when you sit back and you're like, okay, well, this is the difference between us in Tennessee or us in South Carolina. And this is something that we could use to our ability. I think it kind of helps like see the bigger picture. So I definitely think it's, it's going to be different, but I think that seeing the size that we have, it's kind of like, why wouldn't we? Like, why wouldn't we use our size and our advantage? Like, so I think it'll be good. And then plus the depth, like they both <laughs> talked about, that's going to be really helpful whenever we are pressing and playing extremely fast. You know, it's going to be nice to have someone who can just come in right for you, and there won't be much difference in the game because of that. Yeah, yeah, I just had one more at the end, but this is for um, Jersey and Sailor, so both of you guys answer this. But Coach Neighbors said yesterday, you know, or whenever it was last week, whenever we, we talked to him, I keep th saying yesterday, but um, he said that last year was just really hard, and it was just a really hard year all around for everybody um, in this group. Do you think you see a change between last year and this year in, in culture or attitude or kind of, you know, kind of renewed energy to, to do really well this year and, and start the year off strong with this Europe trip? Go for it. Yeah, I definitely think it's like corny to say, but you grow through hard times. And I think that all of us being on the team last year, just how emotionally draining it kind of was. And you know, you don't pinpoint what the reason was, but there's a bunch of things. Every, every single person can sit down and be like, it was this, this, and this. And I think that when you lose games by one point in one possession and then you don't make the tournament, like, there's nothing more gut-wrenching than that. Like, I think as competitors, like I said, all we've, our summer's been so competitive. We're all super competitive. All we want to do is win. And so when you have those kind of things, to, opportunities taken away from you, it's like, okay, we have to change because th that's not going to change. Like, the outcome's not going to change unless we change. And I think that just the people that were here last year knew what it felt like, and no one wants to be in that position again. And so it's like, okay, well, everyone's going to have to, you know, dive in a little deeper in their personality and be a little more patient with someone else. And I think that just having gone through that, you know how important and the emphasis on it. Like, I know for me, just like, I have to be a little more patient with myself or I have to be a little more patient with my teammate and maybe help explain that extra mile and like not get frustrated. And I think it's like little things like that that have been the biggest difference. Like we're, we all want to play, we all want to win, but we also all want to be around each other. Like this year it's like we're doing things as a team and we, we're we not like, oh my God, we have practice today, like oh my God. And I think that that's just the biggest difference is like the feeling of the locker room has been so much more uplifting and I think as it doesn't sound like a lot, but it is, it's a huge difference when you walk in and you don't want to do it, but everyone next to you does, so then you want to do it. And that's been the biggest thing for us. Like Sailor kind of said, like this year you're getting everybody's best shot. I think last year we had an idea of what we wanted to do individually and not so much as like what we wanted to bring to the team. And I think this year you're getting from the staff to the players everybody's best. And I think that's super important. That's going to be the difference between this year's team and last year's. Okay, last thing. Um, we asked Mac and Sam, long flights y'all are about to be on. What are each of you doing on those flights? Sleeping. I, I wish I could say sleeping, but I can never sleep on planes, <laughs> so I'm probably going to be watching Hulu or something. I'm going to probably be thinking about something because <laughs> I can't sleep either. And I, I feel like I get a little, I get a little nervous. Like, 
nine hours or eight hours, that's long enough for me to scheme something up in my head. I can sleep at any point in time, so it's not going to be an issue for me. <laughs> like you really yeah, can. Four hour lay over in Atlanta before. I'll also be sleeping then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could sleep there. Yeah. I don't know. I'm excited. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. I hope I get a window seat, though. I gotta lay my head on something. Right, I'm not trying to be in the middle. <laughs> oh, I can't. I think that's unfair if they put six, five people in the middle of the airplane. Okay, okay thank you, Kylie. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you.